Today we're going to prove our skill sets for science. Mine is a photographer and my friend Hannah's here as a model. Then we're gonna sit down after our shoot and compare our photos to see what we did right, but most importantly, what we did wrong. So if you're a photographer or a model, chances are you're going to learn something from this video. For the first two rounds, we're gonna have the pros in their natural habitat, so I'll be taking photos and Hannah will be modeling. Okay, so why don't you sit? It's important for you guys to know that I built my mood board and laid out all my pose ideas for this video using Milanote, which is basically a freeform canvas to help you visualize and organize your projects. I start by using their built-in mood board template to keep my inspo photos all in one place, including different poses, notes about each pose, information about the type of shot, and a place to put my final examples. It's easy for team members to pop on and leave a comment, and it has a mobile app so you can access it on set. For this video, I laid out all my different pose ideas with inspo photos and shared it with my editor, Josh, so he was prepared when we showed up on set. If you're interested in hearing more about how I plan my photo shoots, check out this video with my five budget-friendly tips to plan any photo shoot that I linked in the top right corner. Okay, so why don't you pose number one, the sitting there. shot. We started with a bit yeah, of an easier perfect. one. We sat on this chair and shot a good mix of medium and full body shots. I was really curious to see how Hannah would compose these because as the model, I found it weird trying to think of different unique poses that were flattering and didn't look lazy, slouchy, or too stiff and formal. No, it's, it looks good because like your feet are cut out. Oh, stunning. Don't know if I... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's recap. So I picked this first photo. I feel like the angle might be slightly too low because I'm already slouching. So you're kind of like shooting up at me and you're really close to my leg, which again, adds some of that distortion and makes my legs look massive. So in this case, I would just say like, if you were a little bit higher, then that would improve it. And then I think you picked this one. I definitely did. From a model's perspective, I would say that to show off maybe more of your neckline or because it is more of a slouchy pose, you don't want to like close off your body body too much. You're right, I have um, no neck. I would have never noticed that actually. Okay, so for this one, the only thing I would say is it's slightly crooked. So we could improve that. Like once you got to know the camera better, you could turn your level on and then it would tell you when you're completely level and that would just like make these lines straight. I think I wanted to show you that I liked this one <laughs> because Ooh. I actually thought the frame was really nice. But the biggest thing is that if you just got my hands in it, it's kind of nice, I feel like, to see a model's like hand draping in that kind of thing, yeah. even though who knows if I was doing a good job at that or not. I try to get a whole like limb in frame if I can. Like yeah. I'll try not to cut off like a hand or a wrist or something like that. Josh is behind the camera is making me do standing poses because he knows that I don't want to model them and I also find them more challenging to take photos of as well. So pose number two, the full body standing shot. Standing poses are hard because how you pose every part of your body matters. For the photo, the trick was to make sure that the model's body didn't look distorted or unflattering. This was definitely the trickiest one for me because physically, I'm not as tall as Hannah, so naturally I won't look as lean. For Hannah, behind the camera, it was also a challenge to shoot me at the correct angle so I don't look too short or too large. This pose was definitely where we both excelled in our own native roles. Now what I can already tell that what you're doing really well is like moving around and your jacket's also really great because you're swinging it and it looks really nice and I don't have a jacket. <laughs> So as the model, are you usually waiting to hear the shutter and then you change your position? Yeah, I listen for it because it helps. Yeah. For standings, as a photographer, do you ever go down? You can, like it's a look, but sometimes it can be unflattering. So you have to pick and choose. Like on someone your frame, it would probably look fantastic. On me, we'll have to see because <laughs> I'm much like less tall. Okay, so this was our second setup. Mm -hmm. I think I picked this, and this is something we talked about using like your props around you, and then opposition with the hand up is what I liked as well. Okay, I think I picked this one. Like I said when we were on set, <laughs> shooting a full body is so hard. And so when you were like more at my eye level, you're still getting that narrowing effect on my mm -hmm. leg. So it's really, it's hard, but you almost yeah. have to like, when you're doing full bodies, you do have to get lower somewhat. I picked a couple 
helpful in this one just because like to know your area and like the aesthetic you're going for. I feel like this one, if I held my waist like under my t-shirt. A little bit Because I feel lower. like I'm crunching yeah. it. So if I just like went for my natural waistline, it might've looked more flattering. 100%, yeah. I'm gonna say I picked this one, I yeah. remember. Something that I did like that you did was you did a lot of movement. Movement is great. Photographers love that. I really like this one. I really liked the angle you chose because see you're slightly lower here, so you're not getting that effect with my legs. Yeah. Now, now my you body look looks like six feet rather than and five I look taller. Yeah. yeah. So for this round, we're starting with the non-professional in that role first, so that neither one of us can copy each other and get ideas from the first round because we've each been in our elements the first time around. So now I'm starting as the model and Hannah's starting as the photographer and I am scared. Pose number three, the couch shot. The last scene that we did was more of a free for all on the couch. I've had to do this pose many a time before, but laying on the couch was a bit of a different question. Here we go. I felt like a melting blob laying there, but Hannah seemed to be laying there like it was her job. Well, technically it is, I guess. Like what I try not to do too much of is if I'm shooting standing and she's sitting, I try not to shoot from like too wide and too up high. Cause sometimes, especially if she's uh, sitting up like how she is right now, she'll look really small in the frame. Like, and her head will look really big cause it's closer to the camera and her legs will look really tiny. So I'm trying not to like distort her body. I keep looking at you like I want to talk to you. I always, <laughs> this is so hard. <laughs> so actually the sitting one on a huge couch is like difficult. Cause you're like, do I want to take it all up? Yeah. Or do I want to like Just be small? Yeah. yeah. our third and final pose and I couldn't even copy you. Okay, this one, same thing. I would have just like got my lap, my foot in. I think the angle's cool, it's pretty centered. And I flagged this one because I actually really liked it. Like you shot up high. I like that too, yeah. It's not so much of like a complete portrait, I would say. Yeah. But like it has depth. Yeah. Is that what you call it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I picked this one. I was just gonna say that the edges of the couch weren't totally Yeah, I like. could, like, yeah. Something I liked that you did was you used your hair. Like mm -hmm. you used use the things on you, your clothes, you use your arms and your placement mm -hmm. really well. And I really like that you did that. For this photo, I would just say if you backed up like the tiniest bit more to get a little more room on the top and bottom. Otherwise, yeah. like I really like the angle. Well, thank you so much. This was really fun. I feel <laughs> yeah, like thanks. I learned a lot. If you guys learned something new in this video, make sure you give it a like down below, subscribe if you're not already and hit the notification bell to get notified for all future videos. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.